I've long believed that all of us become better citizens when we get our news from multiple sources. That's why I encourage folks not just to watch me, but to watch other programs, read several newspapers, and consider analysis from across the spectrum. The problem comes when part of that spectrum throws basic facts out the window. And that takes us to the National Review, a leading conservative publication. Yesterday, the editors of National Review published an online column praising Mitt Romney's profitable past at the Bain private equity firm. The column hammered Newt Gingrich, Rick Perry, and John Huntsman for comments like this. Why did Bain make so much money out of companies that were going bankrupt? There's a real difference between venture capitalism and vulture capitalism. Venture capitalism, we like. Vulture capitalism, no. According to National Review, these candidates were engaged in a, quote, perverse contest and that their criticism of Romney was asinine. The National Review editors then wrote, Mitt Romney ran a firm that invested in struggling businesses, made money, and never asked for a bailout. Yes, according to the National Review, which is throwing around the word asinine, Romney never asked for a bailout. Never? Hmm. The Boston Globe on October 25th, 1994, Republican Senate nominee Mitt Romney's rescue of a business consulting firm was achieved in part by convincing the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation to forgive roughly $10 million of the company's debts, according to sources close to the deal and federal records obtained by the Boston Globe. In other words, not only did Romney ask for a bailout, he received one. And let's be clear. When any institution lets you or your company forgive and forget a $10 million debt, that is a bailout. And this, by the way, isn't the only bailout in Romney's past. Romney's Bain Capital took over a steel mill. When the mill collapsed, every employee lost their job. And who bailed out the mill's pension plan? The federal government, not Bain. That bailout cost U.S. taxpayers $44 million. And yet, despite the mill's failure and the government having to step in to cover pensions, Bain still pocketed nearly $10 million. To my friends at the National Review Online, if you want to carry water for Mitt Romney and his brand of capitalism at Bain, that's fine. I'm sure other establishment conservative media will soon follow your lead. But all news publishers, even you, have an obligation to be honest and truthful. Using Nexus or Google is not difficult. Basic fact-checking is not difficult. And if you really care about the things that are asinine, your word, look at your own approach.